what is going on? But once again, bro, I was willing to throw me some Texas with Tacos Yuki Komodos. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo's on the free 20 level, aka Criticism Guy 2000, of course, Manny Wolverine. And of course, you guys are wrestling, no, wrestling answers towards the channel. Double check out freenumber.com. And of course, Trouble Network Studios at night. Funny people are interested in this part program. Best partnership right out of this shit. Links in the description box down below. Take shots outside. If any people are interested in this part program, this part relationship, this monetization, processing, market strategy, market skills, all that shit. And today I'm going to be reacting to not one, but two. Last and officially final on um, Pokemon Little Tidbits Sun and Moon News. We're probably going to get ever because it's less than five days away, less than almost half a week away to be more precise. Except for you guys in the UK, you still got to wait almost two weeks <laughs> until the. Um, and the rest of your, you guys gotta wait almost two weeks until it comes out for you officially. This is the 23rd for you guys, but we're here in the United States and other parts of Mexico, South America, Canada, and of course Japan get on the 18th. So, <laughs> fuck, one of the very few times I'm actually happy to be fucking American is fucking right now. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, um, as far as that goes, there's only actually only one promotional advertisement. It was a Japanese like 30 second quick commercial, I think. Because I only saw like the thumbnail for it. And I think this is going to be a live action thing. Usually I don't like reacting to those, but it's a Pokemon Sun and Moon later. Oh, I'm going to go right the fuck out and do it since it's going to be the last official one. And the other one's actually not really, I mean, it is Pokemon Sun and Moon related. It's just, I think it's like a commentator just talking about this. Actually having one of the Team Plasma members from Black and White 2, which was Colrus. I guess he's officially confirmed to, to be in the Sun and Moon games, which is pretty fucking cool. Because unfortunately, a lot of you guys know... Even way back in 2012 when I made this really old, old video, I was just starting up this channel the first two years. Um, <clears throat> I never really got to play Pokemon Black and White 2. I think I only did two videos on it and that was it. And unfortunately, I never got a chance to play it. I mean, I played a couple ROM hack versions of it, but I never played the official, like, physical copy version of the game, which sucked. But eventually, I will get it sooner or later, even though it's old as hell now, because we're already Generation 7, I was Gen 5. So I'm about, what... Almost five years by next year, I'll be like five years late <laughs> by the time I even play it. I don't know. Anyways, links to description box down below. Oh, and this one says, um, Chorus found more leaks are appearing in Sun and Moon. And this was, it's about almost 36,000 views. It's from a guy named, um, hopefully I say it right. I think his name's Philly Boats T Zoo, T U, or T Z U. And it was November 8th, so it was only last week when this came out. And I don't know why my pillow's falling. It's fucking weird. Anyways, as far as that goes, yeah, I'll react to how he responded to Chorus being into the um, Sun and Moon games. Three, two, one, let's get in for this one, for this Japanese one. Hopefully it works, because if not, it's going to be a bitch. Oh, it actually worked. All right, let's go. I don't know if they're going to do something with the anime, because they always talk about the anime anyways. Let's see. I think I already saw these picture things before, so yeah, that's something new. Oh, I remember Ashley was riding that Sharpedo thing. Yeah, I remember that shit. It was like on November 11th, so it was only a few days ago. Ah, uh, the Pokemon karaoke thing. <laughs> I know it's a real big thing in Japan. That's always happening every freaking second. Oh, that really wasn't nothing brand new at all. <laughs> Except for, I guess, the picture thing, even though that was kind of like seen already. But let's get into the other one. I couldn't find anything, any other YouTube video on this. You know, there was a lot of other videos saying, like, the full whole story leak of Pokemon Sun and Moon, which I don't know at all. As much as I love the story, spoilers and everything, that's going way too fucking far. I'm just going to wait until I finally get my pre-ordered version of Sun and Moon this Friday. When I go to my fucking GameStop, even though I really hate going over there. But it is what it is, because I think Walmart, when I asked when um, there was still any Pokemon Sun and Moon pre-orders available, they completely ran out. And the other Walmart's, like, 50, 70 miles away, and the only closest one I have is, like, two miles away from me, so... I'm not going to drive all the way the fuck out there. Screw that shit. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this one's a little bit longer. It's about 4 minutes, 26 seconds, so it's real short. But it's still long nonetheless. So, once again, hopefully I'm not butchering your name, good sir. He has almost 5,000 subscribers. Not bad. So it says, um, Philly Beats. Oh, that's what it was. Philly Beats You. So, 3, 2, 1, let's get in. Hopefully uh, this doesn't fuck up on me. Why is this not working? All right, there we go. Three, two, one, uh, let's go. Should work. Yo, what is up, everybody? Hey, 
everybody, it's Billy B2 here. Never heard about this guy before. I just Pokemon heard about him like an hour ago when I was searching through Sun and Moon like so, information and stuff. Yesterday we had a bunch of leaks going down on This is only like on November 8th, so it's only a couple days old. It's almost a week old. But then he took a little break. So about five, six days old by the time I'm doing this recording. So in a way this is like almost... I don't want to and say it's a video sponsor. Ram videos are probably like a speculation re reaction uh, video and stuff. What? Spoiler alert. Alright, so here's some <laughs> pictures. There's an Ultra of the Moon, which is being shown. And if oh, I am going to get into like the Ultra Beast and the Cosmo. I did say I was going to do two separate videos, but I'm just going to mash it into one video instead. I'm doing two videos after this. It's going to be long, so plus I still got another extra reaction review segment to do. I think it was either going to be this reaction to Star Wars trailer, the Rogue One trailer 2 reveal. I'm either going to do that one or another one, which I was holding off on for a while. I'm thinking it has something to do with this guy. I've already talked about it before, Inverted Shadow. That's in the pony stuff, though. Well, talking about Pokemon right now. Look at what is saying. Oh, yeah, I saw that picture. By the way, when I was like uploading all these, then I not uploaded, downloading all the pictures for um, Dude, she is straight up my little article right session review every time I do it on that side room. I did look into some of these pictures already. Look at this. You are challenged by either President Lucifer. Dude, this is some. This what is the hell? Anime boss type no way. Crazy stuff, man. And this is definitely what? brand new to me. I haven't seen that shit. Worse? Fortunately, it has that fucking, um, is, hopefully it's not, Lily's, but it might be Illuminati Lily's fucking mom, eye or some shit. Lily's I don't know. Is Lucifer. This is 100% confirmed now. So, oh, we have shit, that. what? Uh, Oh, I remember I saw this picture too. I think one of the Ultra Beasts actually ends up becoming a trainer and he's able to fight other Pokemon. And he's fighting against like a Confabo with well, the newer little, little, little Pokemon. Um, uh, Lorantis. And that's what it was. To have the totem effect, which is they are buffed up completely, which is pretty scary. <laughs> no, this dude kind of looks like he looks like I'm not trying to be racist towards like Arabic Middle Easterns or anything, but he almost reminds me of a dude from like the Harold and Kumar movies where they always get high and smoke weed all the time. And he almost looks like Kumar a little bit. And you guys ever seen that movie? Highly suggest you check that shit out. I see you love smoking weed and marijuana shit or any of that other stuff. Over here to our oh, this is the part I wanted to hear. Is fascinating. I, believe that I, will stay in I wonder if he's still going to have his original team in Black White 2, because I did see a lot of Let's Plays for Black White 2. I just never got the game, chance to play it. I remember he had a Magna Zone, like uh, two Magna Tons, a Magna Zone, and I think he had like a, a lot of Steel types. I think he had Clink Clang, Aggron, and then probably going to say this wrong, I don't know if he had Gold Black Valley, and I doubt it. Else I wanted to and he might have Skarmor too. I think well, well, most of the Pokemon types were all Steel types. Another you know, reason I thought it was a cool idea because I loved the shit out of fucking Steel types. Images. I mean, these guys who put a lot of work into it, they have the game. They also have acquired the game. They definitely they have, have the fucking game. That's for damn sure. It completely. We will be covering it on this channel. But wow. Here is, okay, the Sidious hidden ability is called Long Reach. Meaning the Pokemon uses its moves Long reach, okay. Yeah, I've heard a lot of their abilities and their um, signature moves got really leaked out too. I remember that. The next one is Cineroar. Which I guarantee you, um, what's it called? Primarina or Primarina? Prima Marina. I think that's what her name was. That, that one's definitely going to be my all-time favorite out of the three starters. I know a lot of people aren't going to like it, but I'll still like it. Hopefully I'm going to do a two-part in this I should have said that earlier in the fucking video. I didn't even know so. I forgot what Pixelate does. I think that was like one of the bug-type abilities. I don't know. And the only one I remember Pokemon that okay. had that that has right. that ability is um, Lavillion or Vivillon or Maxwell. The these, these Pokemon are slow, but yeah. I, believe, <laughs> I don't know. I, believe this is I think that's my now. that's probably right after they evolve at either level 32 or 36. It's usually in the early mid 30s. On the Twitter with information, I will update you guys on uh, this channel as well. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. I'll catch you guys ah, in the next one. He says smash the really like button. You. I was real I'm close to subscribing that dude, and that just turned me off. Because I hate when fucking people say, don't forget to smash and hit that like button. I know that sounds real, real fucking stupid. No offense if this guy is watching, but Mr. Um, something, your beats, Ultra Beats, whatever your fucking name is. What was his name? Um, Let's see. I got to read it again. Uh, let's see. Oh, Philly Beats. No offense, Philly Beats, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> That annoys the fuck out of me when people say, don't forget to hit that like button or smash that like button or smash the hell out of that like button because it just comes off to my super fake. I'm just saying. 
But it is what it is. That's all my own personal opinion. Anyways, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I'm not, not really much to say, unfortunately, about the Japanese official Pokemon Sun and Moon thing. Except they, they're just promoting the crap out of the anime for Sun and Moon that's going to be coming out. Probably came out by now, for all I know. <laughs> oh, and um, I know it's on other places like Torrent Sites besides, you know, Crunchyroll. Because you actually have to pay for that one. Like um, Go Go Anime or Soul Anime. And there's another one I think it's called Kiss Anime. And a couple other ones I usually watch, either Anime Planet, sometimes I'll go on their sites, or maybe once in a while, but not all the time, um, fuck, what's it called, Ryu Anime, I know that one's a real good one, many people want to actually watch free anime for free, even though sometimes you gotta deal with the bullshit ass commercials, but it's a lot more worth than paying 20, 30, 40 something dollars, like a month, when you sign up for Crunchyroll, but of course, when you actually pay for, like, the, um, pay for that type of subscription, the only good thing that comes out of that, you don't have to listen to the boring, bullshit-ass commercials that they give all the time. But, it is what it is. <laughs> Other than that, overall thoughts, views, opinions on this one. Wow. <laughs> I had no idea that the fucking Ultra Beasts were freaking, um... They were literally, like... They're, they're almost in that same type of light when... If any people remember Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back... Not Mewtwo Strikes Back. Pokemon the first movie, the Mewtwo Strikes Back was the sequel. Before that. The Pokemon in the first movie, um, Mewtwo actually used all the clone Pokemon like if he was the trainer. They're kind of like doing the same thing with the Ultra Beasts, except the only difference is the Ultra Beasts, none of them really don't have a face, except for maybe like, I think two of them. One that looks like, ah, um, oh, what was his fucking name? I know the girl's name is Plumeria. What was the dude's name? Um, remember he says, it's your boy something. I think Gastro or Castro. Damn, Guzma. That's what that fucker's name was. Um. Yeah, one of them looks like Guzma, the leader of Team Skull, and then the other one kind of looks obviously exactly almost like one of the Aether Foundation chicks, which is UBO2 Beauty. And I did hear a rumor of saying that, like, out of all eight of the um, Ultra Beasts, there's going to be four for each Pokemon version for Sun and Moon, which obviously I'm going to get both of them, so I'll have all of them. I wonder if they're still going to be able to be, like, um, what's it called? They still will be able to be um, traded through, like, the Wonder Trade system that's going to be coming out once Sun and Moon gets launched out. <laughs> Can't wait for that crap. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't know why my voice cracked there. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, last but not least, I didn't get to think about this. I guess Lucimine is a, the officially confirmed to have like be the mother of Lily, which it makes a shit ton of sense that we're both blonde hair, blue eyed white girls. Anyways, and that's trying to be a racist fuck, but just stating the fucking facts. But some people, unfortunately, they get really, really offended and pussy whip every once in a while. Unfortunately. Especially live here in the U.S. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get into politics either. <laughs> There's a certain some certain certain some fucking candidate had something to do with that, and I'm not gonna say their name. Plus, there's millions of motherfuckers that know who that bitch's name is, anyways. Anyways, yeah, um, that's officially confirmed. Well, along with a couple other things, with um, <laughs> oh man, that's pretty fucking wild. With their signature moves and abilities being revealed for the three final starter evolution, that's pretty fucking awesome. I wish I would have talked more about, like, Marshadow or Cosmo, but I'm going to talk about those in my separate video along with the Ultra Beast, and then that will be a, the final um, video for Sun and Moon that I do in this channel. And if I ever do anything Top 10 related, which I highly doubt I will, I'll put Sun and Moon into it. And, of course, TCG related once the cards finally come out. Hopefully I can buy a couple of those, because I still want to get the Pokemon Evolutionary, Evolutionaries. Pokemon XY Evolutions, the one that was supposed to be the reprints of all the original old school, late 90s um, Pokemon cards from... The original base set, one base set too, and I think Fossil and Jungle too. I doubt it though. That's pretty much it. Now I've rambled on the longest hell enough. And I'm done here. Links in the description box down below. I teach you outside if you want to see both these videos in your own time. And I'm out of here, people. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and packages, and tacos, and kikimotos. I will see you when I see you. You guys have a good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it black out there. And until then, that's time, guys. Peace out, ladies and bye. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the ground, stay easy, stay safe, stay healthy. Be easy, be easy to yourself. Peace out, my sour crowd. I'm gone again. I'm out of here. Stay tuned for more future content on this channel. Stay tuned for more updates. And until then, that's time, guys. Um, also, <clears throat> stay safe, everyone. Of course, stay tuned for more future commentary and content on the channel, such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming news, and of course, as always, Anime and Otaku related news on that side of the room, and of course, video game related news on that side of the room from my article section reviews, and my overhyped reaction review segments, and anything related to Pokemon MLP, and of course, as always, video game reactions, video game trailer reaction reviews, movie trailer reaction reviews, and of course, last but not least, 
um, anime and otaku related um, teaser trailer reactions as well. Of course, um, along with my video sponsors rants. Deuces, guys. Five more days left. Pokemon Sun Moon Hype Train is coming to an end, but it was good while it freaking lasted. Peace and goodbye. Later, everyone.